Apple is unveiling new features on its iPhones and other mobile devices to help prevent addiction to the tech toys. Nightside's Eileen the Palmer talked to some Long Islanders about the changes. It's a familiar sight, someone standing around, staring and scrolling through their phone. How many hours a day are you on your phone? Um, about like four or five. No, I think more than that. Way too much. Way too much? Yeah. Like eight, ten hours. Today, Apple announced it will soon offer new controls to help you limit your screen time. As you may know, iPhones already have a do not disturb feature. So how will this be different? The new controls will allow users to block app notifications from showing up on the home screen, not just based on time of day, but on your location, such as when you're visiting the playground with your kids. Users will also be able to set daily time limits on specific apps and get weekly reports on exactly how much time you're spending on your phone. Experts on addiction say it's a good step forward. There is research that supports that some of the bings we get from our digital devices have very similar neurological effects for that of some uh, dopamine rushes that mirror substance use as well. But I think it's an acknowledgement from Silicon Valley uh, saying that we need to put some apps out there that are available so we can at least begin to work with these new devices with some kind of balance. But of course, whether you decide to use these new controls will depend on, well, your self-control. I, 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 use, I use Do Not Disturb. Uh, I also use this, this um, extension uh, on my browser, like on my computer. So you would not limit yourself no, in any way? No, not at all. Either of you. You think the messages are that important? No, they're not. They're not, <laughs> but it's just like, like an urgency to like yeah. check my phone. Well, the new Apple features will not be ready for use for a few months. And last month, Google revealed plans to force Android phones into shush mode when placed face down on a table. And then they had that screen show only grayscale colors late at night. Macy. Hmm.